while the ACC had a bad night last night with Wake losing and Pitt pretty much falling off the bubble, David Tepper's day-to-day has been worse. Yeah, with concerts. It's been a bad day for the Panthers owner, and here's why. An NFLPA survey ranked him the 28th best owner in the National Football League. And here's the thing. It didn't look like it was going to be all that bad when you started looking at the report card. You look top to bottom of this thing, and there are a bunch of A's, there's some B's, things like treatment of family, food cafeteria, an A in terms of training staff, strength coaches, head coach. Frank Reich actually got an A- minus among players, team travel. like All of it's A's, B's, a couple of C's. It looks like my report card back when I was in high school. But then at the bottom, it says ownership, D, 28. How'd that happen? Well, apparently, players aren't all that happy about the fact they play on a turf field. The Panthers had players surveyed about their preferences, turf field or grass field, 100%. Think about the things in this country you can get 100% of people to agree upon. Think about that. 100% said, yeah, we want a grass field. And David Tepper said, concerts. You know, with concerts. So we're going turf field. Too many events turning over here. We're going to prioritize those, even though... I'm worth $20 billion. We can maintain a grass field, figure it out for those Sundays throughout the year. You figured it out when Chelsea came to town that one time a couple of years ago. Figure it out for your eight or nine home games a year. Do that, Mr. Concerts. You know, with concerts. This news comes, not great timing, as the Panthers announced an increase in season ticket prices for certain parts of Bank of America Stadium. Lower level seating, this is according to the Observer, could see price hikes of 7%. Overall, it's seen to be about a 4% increase for the entire stadium, like averaging it all out after the Panthers went 2-15 and last year. First take got wind of this. And Mad Dog Russo was ready to tee off on Tepper. 4%. That is a complete, utter disgrace. And for an owner who has absolutely no good PR, okay, that's the last thing you do to your fan base off a lousy year when you're throwing water in Jacksonville at the fans because you're upset that they lost the Jaguars. You know what? I got an idea to fix our problem. Let's charge them more money to see the garbage that we put on the field. That is, a, I don't know who came up with that idea. You give them a discount off that kind of season, not a price increase. <laughs> that dog still got heat. Then Stephen A. Smith had a turn at the plate. This is a man that used to be a minority owner for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Considering their tradition, the stability, and everything associated with the Steelers franchise, for you to become an owner in Carolina and the look and appear this in F, this quickly, it's got to be alarming to the National Football League that they allow this man to own a team. It's a bad sign. And you charge more money when they won one game? Yeah. Curtisville. I was about to say, you cut out the part of the clip where Stephen A. said, I know where Charlotte is. It's an hour and a half up I-85 from... Curtisville. <laughs> David Tepper's becoming the league's new Dan Schneider. Now, I've heard people say that, and I disagree with it in this sense. Some are saying... Oh, he's like, just like Schneider. No, he isn't. Like, he's not dictating contracts. We need to sign this guy and give him a record deal. He's not doing the Deion Sanders signing or anything like that. It's not what he is. There aren't off-the-field cheerleader scandals or an organization that's just plagued with harassment. David Tepper's replacing the harassment guy. That's not who Tepper is if we're going to defend him a little bit. Here's what I mean when I say he's becoming the new Dan Schneider. He's becoming the avatar for bad ownership in the sport. Every sport needs this guy. The NBA, it's James Dolan. And in the NFL, it was Dan Schneider for the longest. He's not there anymore. So who is the avatar that national shows like First Take could tee off of? Who's the guy that's easy to make fun of and say that's what bad ownership looks like? The, the avatar that Mad Dog Russo or Stephen A. Smith can go after. That's, that's what David Tepper's becoming. And that way he's becoming the new 
Dan Schneider in the NFL.